So I'm going to try to break down problem number 15 as simply as possible. So there's a few things that you just need to understand when you're working with exponents. Okay, so anytime you have something in a fraction, so say you have x to the fourth power over x to the second power, you need to understand that anytime something's written in fraction form, you're dividing it. So x to the fourth power over x to the second power is the same as saying x to the fourth power divided by x to the second power. Okay, the other thing you need to understand is that when you are dividing variables that are the same, that have different exponents, when you're dividing, in order to figure out what the answer is going to be, you end up subtracting the exponents. So you would do x, 4 minus 2 would be x squared. I'll show you another example. If you have z to the 10th power divided by z to the third power, that is z to the 10th power divided by z to the third power. And so you would do z 10 minus 3, and it would be z to the seventh power. So if we go ahead and take this problem, x to the negative fifth power, y over y to the third power to the negative 1, let's go ahead and do some dividing. So we first start with the x. There is no x on the bottom, so we just leave it at it as is, x to the negative fifth power. But we do have y to the first power divided by y to the third power. So y to the first power divided by y to the third power. So that's the same as saying y to the first divided by y to the third. And you remember, you just subtract the exponents. So it's y1 minus 3. So that's equal to y to the negative 2 power. So we bring down the x to the negative fifth power. And now we write next to it y to the negative 2 power. Put it back in the parentheses and make sure we put that 1 on the negative 1 on the outside. So what do we do here? Let's rewrite it x to the negative fifth power, y to the negative 2 power, and negative 1 on the outside. Anytime you have an exponent raised to another power on the outside, you just multiply those two powers. So for example, you take x to the negative 5 times negative 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 is 5, so it would be x to the 5th power. And then you do the same thing, y to the negative 2 times negative 1, which would be negative 2 times negative 1, which is y to the 2 power. So it would be x to the 5th, y squared, and your answer would be c.